All right, let's get into a double header. We call this the world famous parent panel. It is world famous. People love it. And uh, we go through different topics that parents face. So one uh, that I've been facing very, very often is my kids now are into drawing. They have uh, crayons out there. They have the uh, pencils, extra sketch, everything they do. And they are giving you this stuff they produce. Now, I don't think they're a world famous artist just yet, but they do produce <laughs> a lot of stuff. So the question comes up, where do we put this stuff? How much should we keep? It's a pretty big issue in our home. Uh, I wonder how do you start with that idea? What have you done with the works of art your children have created uh, that maybe aren't in a museum just yet? I'm sure they'll get there sooner or later. Well, with five kids, I would be buried under paper <laughs> if I kept every sure. single thing that they drew. Yes. So, we kind of have a system. In the beginning, when they were really little, we'd like take pictures of them or scan them into the okay. computer and wow. keep some of the nicer things. I also have a file folder where like two of them a year maybe end okay. up in where they're like, oh, okay, this is pretty cute and I'm going to keep it. But the rest of the stuff, I'm really honest with the kids. I'm like, I love your picture. We'll put it up on the fridge for a couple of days and then it goes in the recycling. Okay. Jason, what about you? I, I do think it's important to have some kind of system like that. It is difficult, though. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of each week from school, there's oh. five or ten different things that they've brought home, and you don't really know what to do with it. So you say, okay, well, which ones do you guys want to keep, and which ones are good to go? Uh, and if they don't do anything with it, I take the stack and I put it in their room on their desk. And then now it's in their room. Now they have to deal with it. <laughs> so sure. then sure. I, I have a thing in the closet where I put all of the stuff that I think that they're going to want to keep. Yeah. And then I have my own personal drawer beside my bed that has like some of the stuff that is, is really valuable to me. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, that you, can't do, you can't do everything. No, you right? certainly can't. You just can't. can't. But it, it is important that kids do need to know that you can't just keep absolutely everything. Mm -hmm. and, and that they're not, not every work of art is amazing. And deserves well, deserves <laughs> deserves to go on the wall or on the yeah, fridge. Right. I know that's subjective because art is right. pretty subjective anyway. Yeah, but yeah. but I think it's important that they do learn that not everything is fantastic, and that's okay. And you just some things are better than others, and you just deal with it. And that same thread, I have some things that my mom kept of mine when I was a kid, and it's really kind of a thrill going back and looking sure. at those and saying, you know, I, I remember being five or six years old yeah. and creating that. That's why I keep a couple of pieces always stashed away. I mean, the rest, some of them get lost in moves. Sure. And, <laughs> you know, oh, I accidentally put that in the recycling. Yeah. But. Well, that's amazing. That's one thing that happens. You know, sometimes my kids will open up the garbage like, oh, how did this end up in here? I'm like, oh, what? Did it fall off the table? <laughs> the table's like on the other side of the room, you know? Yeah. So you really quite feel badly. But I guess, how do you deal with it? Because, you know, my three kids, my little girl, she, she's going to be the next fan. Go, she's cranking out. She's all about the volume, right? Then the mm -hmm. two boys. Yeah, you know, every now and then they crank something out. So there's different levels. Like if they're not making much, do you have to keep more of it? Because, you know, there's not the selection you're talking about here. We have the three or four stashes. Yeah, I, I think it depends on how into art the kids are, sure. depending right. on it, right? Like uh, for my one son, he loves to draw a lot of art. And so there's a binder that's in his room that we can hole punch and kind of keep it in the binder. And right. it says, you know, Vaughn's drawings on it or whatever. And then it kind of, you know, gets it nice and, and compact. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my other son doesn't care. Okay. He, he really doesn't. Okay. So, you know, you, you talk about that honestly. Like, how important is this picture of a cow that you drew when you were trying to go to sleep three days ago? <laughs> Do you really need it or can we just put it in the recycle bin? It got to a tough time. That, that painting. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> what about as far as, um, you know, like a, a, a report card from um, swimming lessons or uh, a, a soccer completion certificate? Are those things that we want to keep around? And if so, you know, if you, if you, you know, I know your son had a great weekend. You keep that, that medal. That's exciting. Let's say maybe uh, Jimmy doesn't do so well that year. Do we still keep the participation medal? What, what do we do with all these things? Again, I think we kind of stash them away for a time. Okay. And then go through them with the kids and kind of let them decide if they're ready to let those things go. Some kids really, really care about those things. Okay. Other kids are like, eh, you know, whatever, throw it out. I don't care. 
Okay. I think it, it is important to kind of give the kids that skill of deciding what they keep and what they don't keep because as adults we have to do that all the time and kids that want to keep everything are probably going to be adults that want to keep everything in their basement and then you know the moving process is awful yeah so it, it is important to teach kids like just just have a discerning eye maybe but, you know not just based on the beauty of the art but what it meant to you and then that's okay but the other thing is that most things are so digital now yeah. that like the report cards, right. we don't get like, you know, a physical report card anymore. So we can store all of that stuff on the computer. Fill up the, uh, the hard drive. In yeah, there. absolutely <laughs> awesome. All right, we're going to take a quick pause. When we come back, stay with us, everybody. We've got round two of uh, the uh, World Famous Parent Panel coming at you in three minutes' time.